going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, we're still sharing beers tonight, so I'm going to be reviewing a couple beers, I think. Um, in this video, <laughs> we'll be checking out another Toppling Goliath beer. Oh, is that going to focus? No. That label is too white. This is Sosis, the white label. Um, I actually had the red label version of Sosis last night, and it was still really, really good. Uh, Eric sent me that from Blackboard beer reviews check out his channel i will leave a link in the description this beer comes from my buddy nathan ryerson from behind the bar i will also link you guys to his channel in the description of this um, double ipa from toppling goliath i believe this is eight percent i might be wrong on that it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle i don't know why they don't put their uh, alcohol by volume on the bottles of these it's crazy for none of their bottles say the abv and i just i don't understand it but whatever um this is single hopped with mosaic hops and this label is amazing it's like a whole you can't see it because of the lighting in here but it's like a whole like mosaic thing going on um which is rad i don't know what sosis actually means no idea um the meaning behind that but people are losing their mind about this beer they're saying it's the king sue killer um nathan reviewed it eric reviewed it darwin reviewed it nick from what cheers reviewed it i want to say everyone gave it a hundred out of a hundred in their reviews i'm not a i'm not a eric and nick might not have given it 100 but i know nathan did that review is actually one of the greatest beer reviews he's ever done check that review out go to his channel and check it out um and i think eric gave it 100 too so really excited to check out this is the white label they did i think on their last run during morning the morning delight release they did like a bottling and there was some of the red label ones left and some of the white label and then the i'm oh, sorry and the rest were the new label so um i had heard there were differences in the bottles don't know um, I did have, he, Nathan actually sent me two of these and I had this beer, but it was, I took a road trip with my family. We actually rented an RV. It was amazing. And my brother-in-law Lane and I did a bottle share on Highway 5 in the middle of traffic since neither of us were driving. And we drank a ton of beers going up north. And this was one of the beers that we drank, but we had drank some other beers, so it wasn't on a fresh palate. I remember really liking it, but um, wanted to actually put a review up on this because um, I think it's worthy. People, like I said, are losing their mind. They're saying this is the best IPA the Toppling Goliath does. So I love, love, love me some Mosaic Hops. I will say, though, with this bottle, wow, I can smell that already, um, which is crazy, too. This was bottled on August 20th, so we are just under two months on this one, which I got this. Nathan sent me these a while ago, and I just kept them in my fridge. I, when you review beers, dude, there's just so many freaking beers that you have to get to, so it's hard. I still have beers from DJ that I need to review that I haven't done yet, and I mean... Like I said, it's my own fault. It's just one of those things. Like, I have a fridge full of beer that I still haven't reviewed, and it's just, I don't know, it's the way that it goes. So, uh, this beer pours a hazy. Yeah, I cannot see my finger through that. I can see the shadow of it because of the light that's shining on it, but it is a hazy, juice looking tangerine color. It probably looks darker on camera, but it's like an awesome pale. Look, like, I always say this when I review beers like this it looks like a wheat beer, like a Hefeweizen in, in the glass. Um, there's a bright white head on that. There's probably half a finger when we poured it. I didn't go too aggressive with that pour, but it looks absolutely amazing. Very New England style, very East Coast style. Not a whole lot of carbonation. It's hard to see the bubbles in the middle because the beer is so hazy, but the bottom of the glass, there's, I don't know, six or seven little bubbles that are kind of making their way up to the top of the, the top of the glass. So it looks absolutely amazing. Um, there is some alcohol legs. Like I said, I think this is 8%. I'll, I'll double check and I'll put it in the title of this video, but... Like I said, Toppling Goliath does not put that information on their bottle, which is strange. So I could smell this right when I open it, which is awesome, being that it's two months old already. And Mosaic is one of my favorite hops, so let's stick our nose in it. Yeah, it's just, wow, this is still really, like, poppy. It's The aromas are still jumping out of the glass, even at eight weeks. That, that's amazing. It's just huge citrus um, and tropical fruits. There's oranges, there's tangerines, there's like pineapples and peaches in there. And I am, gosh, I love that too. I didn't get the, like the blueberry note on Mosaic Hops until I drank Alter Ego. And when I drink a beer now after that, that's very well made with Mosaic, I get that. And this has that in it. Yeah, this just smells like a tropical fruit juice bomb. It's like I said, oranges, tangerines, pineapples, peaches, and then you get like that blueberry note on the on the you know underneath all that citrus from the mosaic, which is amazing. Um, there's not a lot of dankness to this, and I also I'll, I also notice there's not like that harsh kind of green matter that sometimes you'll get with mosaic. Sometimes you get like that dank kind of crazy 
um, in your face kind of harshness that's not there this is like a soft tropical fruit juice bomb I could sit here and smell this all day so yeah let's go and dig in Nathan Eric thank you guys cheers Wow <laughs> that's really really good Oh, it's so delicious. That is just mosaic for days. It's so juicy still. Wow, even at two months old, this thing is still amazingly juicy. Taste follows the nose. Tropical fruits right up front. You just get hit with like that peachy pineapple thing. Um, middle of the mouth, you get a nice pop of bitterness, like that kind of grapefruit pithy thing. Um, tiny bit of dankness, um, but the bitterness, it just rolls across your tongue. Um, and just goes right away. The finish on that is sweet. It's like that blueberry note and then you get hit with all that tropical fruit juice again. Um, and I will say the mouthfeel of this beer is on point. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like that. Not quite to like that treehouse creamy mouthfeel, but definite medium plus mouthfeel. Super balanced. The bitterness is there, but the back end of that with that berry note and then all that tropical fruit, geez, like the pineapple and the peaches are just crazy. My mouth's actually watering talking because it's such like a juicy beer. Um, wow, that's, this is incredible. Like I said, I think it's near 8%. Alcohol is nowhere to be found. You don't smell it, you don't taste it. This is a crushable double IPA. So, so good. I haven't had a lot of toppling beers, but it's good to know that they hold up. I mean, this was in his fridge sent to me. My fridge that I keep my really hoppy beers is super low. It's like 35 degrees. I keep my hoppy beers really, really, really cold um, just to kind of hopefully preserve the hops, so to speak. And this has held up amazing. I mean, I've almost drank this whole thing in seven minutes. Yeah, super balanced and just gushing juicy this the peaches and the pineapples are amazing it's like cutting into a pineapple and just like squeezing pineapple juice in my mouth that's crazy the bitterness is awesome like i said that berry note from the mosaic on the back end of that is amazing this is killer this is this is awesome good to know too two months you're fine with toppling beers this is Sosis, the white label. I know it's hard to see that because of all the light in here and it's really like shiny reflective, but um, I mean, is this a King Sioux killer for me? Probably not because I'm a Citra whore. Um, I do love me some Mosaic, but I mean, this beer is amazing. I can't find anything wrong with it. Wow, even at two months old, this is killer. I mean, if you gave this to me and said, here's Sosis, I'd be like, wow, this is pretty fresh, isn't it? This is delicious. It's just soft, fruity, juicy, bitter, super balanced. This is crazy, crazy drinkable. This is amazing. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's a King Sioux killer for me because that beer is just, with the Citra, it's, it was one of my favorite beers of the year. I'm going to go 99 on this one. 99, which is amazing. Um... It probably deserves a, a hundred. It's just if we're comparing this to, to King Sue like everyone's been doing, I just like that one a little bit more because it's just a hot preference. This is probably a, I mean a 99 for like, what's the difference between 99 and a hundred really? I mean, I don't know. I'm going 99 on this one though. Mr. Ryerson, thank you so much for uh, for sending this. Like I said, if you guys have had Sosis, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Another winner from Toppling Goliath. So as always guys, Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.